I'm going to try and make this a, a quick tip as best I can here. We'll try and keep it under a couple minutes. So the question came in, how do I make the first and second line of my zone stamp bold, but not the following lines after that? Um, so first of all, uh, if you want to add lines uh, to your zone stamp, you have to actually go through the settings. Uh, here I'm using, uh, in my attributes, I've got this set up to zone stamp 0226. Um, and you're just going to check off what's included. Here I've included floor finish. Um, obviously zone name is included, zone number is included. Um, so that's why I see laundry 001. Uh, uh, if I change this to 101, it's going to change to 101 there. Um, Scrolling through, I have floor finish. Uh, if I didn't want this to say floor finish, I could get rid of that and just have the title um, uh, title for the, the floor finish here. Um, but then when I go to my text override styles, this is where it might be a little bit unintuitive. Let me collapse this down just a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so you have this select content to override zone name. Uh, I want the zone name to be overridden to be bold. I want the zone number to be overridden to be bold. Um, you could even say that I want uh, the text block, everything below that, to be overridden to be, um, I don't know, uh, let's pick some other, here's another font, uh, and let's say that that's six point and italicized and underlined. Um, <clears throat> so there I can differentiate line one, two, and then everything below that to be a different font. Uh, and that's how you would ideally set that up to be uh, different fonts for different lines. 